Edward, as a young man, has terrific charisma, so that he's very good looking, uh, he's um, very easy on the eye, and of course this is the age of newsreels, so for the first time, um, large numbers of the, um, of the public in America are actually able to see Edward face to face in the newsreel. And he becomes an American celebrity. Uh, in a way, he's, he's on par with, with Hollywood stars in the, in the 1920s and 1930s. He becomes famous almost simply for being famous. So all his exploits are covered in, in minute detail in the American press. Um, there's nothing they like more than, than a bit of gossip about um, British royalty and above all, uh, the Prince of Wales. When he uh, visits America in 1924, which is his second major visit to the States, he is on holiday, in fact. He's on the way to his uh, ranch in the West in Canada, and he stops off in New York. He stays at Long Island to watch the international polo matches between America and Britain, which America wins easily. But while he's there, he is given the most wonderful time. He is officially um, on holiday, so he doesn't have royal duties or visits to perform. And he spends much of his time playing polo in the day and partying at night. Um, and that means until dawn. And this really is when his reputation as a playboy prince, the jazz age prince, is consolidated. And the amount of press coverage that he gets is quite astonishing. Um, in this, in this three-week period, uh, there are over 60,000 news clippings taken. And at the end of, the, uh, the end of his visit, the, the, the Clippings Bureau presents him with an enormous volume, which is about 300 pounds in weight, containing all his clippings. Unfortunately, the clippings are being taken in uh, the UK as well as in the USA, and a lot of them get to his father. King George V, who is not at all pleased at the coverage which his son is getting, and uh, headlines such as Prince gets in with the milkman. Um, so he's you know, getting in at, at five o'clock in the morning. And uh, that has a, um, a rather detrimental effect on uh, the Prince's uh, prospects of going back to America because his father, in effect, forbids him to, uh, to visit. Uh, for the next few years. But while he's there, he has the most wonderful time. And in a way, with the, um, the partying that takes place on Long Island, he is almost like a, a, a character in The Great Gatsby. It's that jazz age moment with wild partying and enormously wealthy people having the most wonderful time in the middle of the Roaring Twenties. Zelda Fitzgerald, who is the wife, of course, of Scott, actually writes a, so a short story be called the, the Girl the Prince Liked, which is clearly based uh, upon the Prince of Wales, and it's a very brief tale of how he has an affair with a wealthy American heiress, and that captures the mood of the time. And for many years after that, that is the image which is the strongest uh, in America of the, the Prince of Wales as a... Um, as a party prince.